Hello, this is David Ferguson from MLC CAD System, and today we're going to go ahead and program a simple 2D plate style part using a template method. So what I have in front of my screen, or on my screen right now, uh, is the part we're going to machine, and it's just a, a basic simple uh, 2D style part with a couple of pockets and some holes. And uh, this is being pulled in from a step file, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this off my screen and we're going to open up our template. What's very important when using templates is that you always start with the template itself uh, and bring the part into the template. Uh, you don't start with the part and then bring the template into the part. It's always template first, then part. So this is my template for a, a Haas VF4, just a simple three-axis mill sort of setup. And you can see I've got a Kurt Weiss uh, on the left here in my Toolpath Manager, you can see I've got the machine pulled in. In my Plane Manager, uh, I've got a, a plane created uh, for this fixture, for this setup, uh, keyed off the, the top of the soft jaw, or yeah, top of the hard jaw there on the vise, uh, with a work offset already assigned. And what we're going to be doing is merging in that plate part, aligning it, and then programming it using uh, what we have already uh, thrown in here. Uh, we'll start by doing the merge, and that's simply a matter of going to File and Merge. And I'm looking for a step file, and there's my step of my part. And I'll go ahead and open that up to, to merge it into this part file. We've got a little bit of a problem, and the part itself is not aligned uh, to my world. So the first thing I have to do is go ahead and get this part aligned to this vise, and I can do this really easily using transform and dynamic. So I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in on the part and I'll align the gnomon onto the part. And just get Z and X aligned and that should be okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically use these buttons over on the left hand side first to align the part axially to my WCS and then align it to the origin like that. Just a couple of clicks and I can drop that part right onto that vise. Now I've also got in my level manager uh, a couple of parallels thrown in there and as we can see the part is not quite sitting down on those parallels like it should so I'm going to turn off the vise for a minute. Now I'm just going to use a transform dynamic again just to go ahead and key the bottom of that part to the top of my parallels. And now that part is sitting exactly where hopefully it should be. And if I turn the vise back on, we can see what we're looking at. All right. Now, with that done, uh, I'm ready to go ahead and start looking at doing some machining. And one of the things we're going to do with this part is, aside from a stock boundary, uh, I'm not going to create any additional wireframe on this part. I'm going to try to program the part entirely off the solid model. So I'm just going to create a new level for my stock boundary. And then I'll jump up to my wireframe ribbon, go ahead and grab a bounding box, select the part and selection. And then I'm not making any adjustments to the X and Y value of the part, but I am going to increase the, the thickness of the plate up to a full half inch to give us a little bit of material to machine. There we go. And I'm just creating basically just a simple 3D box. And that's going to help me create stock and drive one or two tool paths. Now, because this is a template and I'm programming for a specific machine, the other thing I also have is I have all the tools that are currently loaded on that machine already added to the template. Uh, so I don't have to really go hunting around for any tools or create any tools. It's already been done for me. So really I can just grab and go. And if I'm doing a lot of similar parts, you know, the tooling tends to stay fairly consistent. So, you know, with the template, I can just have those tools ready to go.